Hello everybody. Today we'll be discussing about the keyword static. Uh, as we all know, uh, if we do not want to instantiate a class and call it directly, use the uh, variables or methods, then we use the keyword static. Just like if we define a word as static, then it is defined as the class variable. Now we'll see different combinations uh, of, of, of using static and how they work. And so let's just create a new class so that we'll start coding and see the compilation issues or how static can be used. So for this, we'll be creating a class uh, that is, this is the testing static keyword. Okay, and this won't uh, have any, um, and this doesn't have a main method, so we just create one class. Okay, and in here, and then we will create another class which is a calling class, which will be calling uh, the variables inside the stat testing static keyword. So we will say the calling class, and this class will have the main method because this will be calling. Okay. Now, uh, coming to the top level class, the top level class can never be static. So there is no sense of making the class itself as static as we know the definition itself, what it says. Now, if we want to have any uh, variables inside it, how are we going to define it as the static variables? Now, let's say we would say string first name. Last name. Okay, and then we would create a Pojo class. So right click, source, generate getters and setters, select all, and then OK. OK, now if we want to access these objects, first and last name, how are we going to do it from testing static keyword, from calling class? So from calling class, we would create an object for it because we are not defined as static. So we will say test is equal to new test static keyword, and then we use that object to call this. So you can set or get. Okay, this is one option. Now, if I declare these as static, say static. For the first name. Now, how would I access the first name? I don't need the. Now, let's see. If I have the class and if I say dot, see, because I have provided, as given the keyword as static, the first name, I can access it directly. But I cannot access the last name because last name is not declared as static. So, this is how uh, we call it. So, static dot. Okay. And then, this is one of the main advantages or main uses why we use static. Now, let's go back, delete the getters and setters and define both as static and then we would go to source, generate getters and setters, select all and then we would click OK. OK. Now we have created getters and setters for this one. Now we can set and get. So now when you see even for the method we have put the static keyword. So how do are you going to access it? Before previously we used to access using the object test. Now if we say test dot we can still access first name, last name, get first name, set first name and set last name. But because we have mentioned we have we have specified the keyword static for the methods as well. Use the class directly and say dot where you can see all the methods. See these are all testing static keywords uh, class provides these different options. These are all static. So we can access it directly using the class. Now you can set the first name as uh, and then set the last name as shoot. And then now if you want to get it, you can say dot get first name to print it out. Okay. This is first name. And then 
ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಗಟ್ಟು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಕ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾಟಿಕ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಲಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ if we declare the variables and methods as static if not we would use we would create instantiate the class that is creating an object and then accessing through it let's just do a quick example for that as well i would say string middle name okay and then source generate getter and setter select okay now i have a middle name because middle is not static i cannot access through the class directly as we have gone with it that is testing keyword dot see i cannot access the middle name because we have created an object let's try for that test dot now i can set the middle name using an object because it is not uh declared as static this is no middle name okay and then this out i would say middle name plus test dot get the middle name i have to use test it is instantiate now run as java application now you can see here first name name is gato middle name is this last name is shrik okay so this is how we use the static keyword for the variables and methods this is the very basic concept in the next session we'll be discussing about how whether we can have inner static classes and whether we can how do we call the static classes inner static classes or inner loop static methods or inside static classes thank you